Good morning, good morning, and spring has finally sprung. How fabulous is that? Brings a lot of optimism into the air, doesn't it? And this week I'm actually full of optimism because I've had a week of students getting their end of term reports and showing that they've improved in the time that the reports since the last one. So in the time that the reports have been written, they've improved a grade. I've had two girls improve two grades and that's virtually not possible. I think anything's possible myself. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is what you should be doing to ensure that the improvement continues. Because for the exam years, exams are cancelled, assessments are not cancelled. So they will still be assessed and so there's no reason to take their foot off that brake. And for the non-exam years, we need to make sure that you're back in the game, you're back in the learning mentality and picking up what you need to move forward. I don't necessarily agree with the concept of people falling behind because it's a case of falling behind of what? Falling behind with what? Falling behind what? What is behind? Everybody is very different to everybody else. We're all unique. So therefore, when we fall behind, who are we falling behind? You know, there's a lot of nuances to that little statement. What is important is to understand what you're not doing and what you should be doing. Now, one of the ways that I keep my students doing is that every week we challenge them a little bit more and challenge what their, co their concept of their progress is and get them to understand that it's possible to do a little bit more, but also understanding if they say they need to take it slower because they are unique. So the question is, when was the last time you sat with your child and ask them what they've been doing in school? Now, there's a question. When I say ask them what they've been doing, I mean, not necessarily I've been doing maths today and the topic was trigonometry and we learned how to calculate an angle when we've only got two sides of a, tri of a triangle. I'm not talking about the depth of it. I'm talking about how are you feeling about your learning? Have you made any great breakthroughs that you thought you weren't going to make before? You know, how can I help you to make the breakthrough that you need? Do you need me to have a little word with your teacher for you? Because not every child, not every child likes to talk to teachers. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with teachers, but you know, there's that concept of I can't approach. We can as parents, so let's find out if we can. What we should be looking for is ways of making sure your child stays engaged, because if you are, you can be darn sure that they're going to be extra engaged to make sure that when you ask a question, they can get into the conversation. So, asking questions of your child, having that conversation, showing them that you're actually interested in what they're doing in school is always a good starter. Making that email get sent. What kind of English am I speaking today? Oh my goodness need a coffee. Make sure you send that email to the teachers. Ask, ask the teacher, is there any way that you can help? Is there any conversations they want you to have? Because teachers do have a lot on their plate. So make sure you ask the teachers, do, is there anything that you can do? Make sure that all parties involved in this success race is actually engaged in the team effort. 
you know, we are trying to get the best for our kids in these unprecedented times. So we need to work as a team and we need to work effectively as a team. So make sure that everybody is doing the same thing and has the same goal. I'll give you an example. Feedback from teachers is exceptionally good, an exceptionally good tool. I can't say it exceptionally enough. If it's done right. Now saying good or writing good on a sheet does not tell the student anything except that it's good in that teacher's opinion. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the teacher's opinion, but I'm saying it's an opinion. <clears throat> what we do for our students is we'll say good. Have you ever tried doing this as well? And it's a, it's a way of providing feedback that many teachers have, are taking on lately. I know certainly my son's teachers do that all the time. They'll say, this is great, but what would happen if you tried this? Give them a challenge, you know, or sh if it's not so good, just say, right, here are a few steps, follow these steps through and get a structure together in your writing, possibly in your calculations even, because we teach calculations by numbering them. I'm not saying you need to understand the concept or the technique or the calculation, but the teacher will understand it and should give steps to improvement. Okay, so if steps are given, look for this, then look for that, then do this, then do that, and your work will improve. You can be sure your child will follow the steps because they want to improve, they want those challenges. So you could ask the teacher to provide more feedback or they could, or you could tell them to ask the teacher to provide more technical feedback, more useful feedback that, you, that they can follow at home. There's so many things that you should be doing now, right? And I know you're busy, but you should be doing them to ensure that this engine starts firing up again and they start moving towards their future goals in a positive way. These unprecedented times will always be with us, but that doesn't mean that we need to slow down. It means, if anything, we now fire up, look towards the future and make progress. That's what we're about. Now, if you enjoyed this and you want to know when more episodes are available, like, subscribe, share with your friends. We're always here on a Wednesday evening, 7.30 on, and we're on our YouTube channel, JG Educate Limited. You can, you can have us at your beck and call and we are happy to be there. If you need to talk to me directly, go to jgeducates.com and book a call. I'm always happy to talk. No obligation, no fee, okay? Free, no obligation, as long as it helps and as long as it gets this engine that they call education moving again with kids fired up to be part of the future. Have a great day.